When building your project using the Sanity Studio, I'm sure you have always wondered how you can get this specific category of a blog post that you have. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So let's begin. So in this project, I'm not going to be building everything from scratch. Instead, I'm going to use a project that I've already built before on my channel. And the video is called Blog Schema with Sanity CMS. It is one year old on my channel and Sanity has upgraded to version 3 since then. However, you don't need to worry about that because the method I'm going to show you in this video works also on version 3 because I have tested it. So if you want this project, you can go into my GitHub. The project is called Sanity-Blog-YT. You can clone this repository and then once you run it, you should have your application running on localhost 3000 and this is the default application. I have just navigated into the blog page, so forward slash blog. Now, if you take a look at Visual Studio Code, the code that we wrote for this project to get all the blog posts is right here on this blog page. And as you can see by this get request that we are sending, we don't have we don't have anywhere where we are searching for the categories. So what we need to do first of all is we need to go ahead and specify that we want to get the categories for the specific blog posts. Now, all we need to do therefore is just go right here and say that you want to get the categories and I'm going to save that. And before I continue, I want to mention this. When you open up your Sanity Studio and you do that by opening up your terminal, so Control J and then navigating into your Sanity Studio, which in this case is Sanity Blog YT. When you go ahead and run your Sanity Studio, it runs on localhost 3000. So if I navigate into localhost 3000, then this is the Sanity Studio that I am met with. And what you'll notice is that I have the very same blog post that I created in the blog post video, but with a bit of modification, because if you check into the category right here, you'll notice that I have created three new categories and this is just for demonstration purposes. So if you want to create a category, all you need to do is just go ahead and click on this icon and then it is going to open up your category right here on the right. You can name it whatever you want and then you can give it a description if you want. But for this project, we are not going to be working with the description and I don't want this fourth category. So I'm just going to delete it right here. So control alt delete is going to delete that category delete. And then what I've done next is I've navigated into my post and I've chosen only three blog posts which have the category because I also want to show you how what you can do for blog posts that don't have the category. So you can see that for this specific one, it has one category called colors. And then for this second one has two categories, if I'm not wrong. So it has two categories so night sky and lightning. And then the third one also has the very same two categories called night sky and lightning. So these are the ones that we're going to be working with. And I want to be able to display them right below the text right here. So back inside Visual Studio Code, what we're going to do is this. Once we go ahead and we get the categories from here. And by the way, if you want to take a look at this, whether you can get the categories, you can just navigate into Sanity Blog, into your blog folder. And then inside schemas, you can take a look at the post schema because the post schema is the one that holds the blog posts. And you can see that we are getting everything inside here. So we get the title. Let me place this to the right so that you can actually see it. There we go. So you can see that we get the title right here the title, we get the slug, we get the slug, we get the body, which is somewhere on the bottom. So right here, we get the body and you can just compare and contrast what you want to fetch. So in this case, I want to get the categories and you can see that categories has a type of array. So by default, categories is an array. Okay. So now back inside this, I'm going to go ahead and write below our set stories where we get our data. I also want to go ahead and console.log the stories. Now, in this case, I'm console logging our stories to make sure that our state value is being populated. So once I save that, I'm going to navigate into my project right here and I have it running on localhost 3000. So you can go ahead and say npm run start. Don't worry about this. It's because we have introduced this right here. And so we're going to remove it. And then when I open up my inspect tool right here, then we should be able to see something in the console. So if I navigate into the console please load in so inside the console you can see that we get an array of 11 items now currently these 11 items are a bit hard to navigate 
However, if we take a look at any of them, you can see that we have the categories here. And for this case, it says null. And then if we take a look at another one, this one also says null. And then the third one says, okay, this one is filled with one item. So it has a category of one item. Now, I just want to make this a bit cleaner. So instead of just console logging everything, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say console log stories dot map. And then I want to get the single object called story. And then I just want to go ahead and console log the story. And you know what? I want to console log the story dot categories so that I can get only the categories. So I'm going to save that. And then now we should be able to see the categories much better. Look at that. Now we have 11 items. And you can see that the first item has no categories, neither does the second item, but the third one has one item as a category, and then the fourth one, and then the seventh one as well. So now let's take a look at the categories. Let me zoom in just a bit better. So if we take a look at this, look at this. We have the categories, but we get the key for the category, the ref and the type of reference, but we don't get the title of the category. Like, we don't know what this is, right? And so what we need to do is get this and transform it into actual words which correspond to our categories that we made. So either night sky or lightning or colors in this case. And then get them from here and display them to the user. And so we're going to do this. Back inside our Visual Studio Code, we know that categories is an array. So we're going to say that for the categories array, we're going to pass in our two square brackets to indicate it is an array. We're going to say this, we want to go ahead and get the title of the category. Now, when I save this and we take a look back inside our console, we should now be able to see the actual name of the categories, but we don't get anything. Hmm. Let's try and reload. Perhaps there's an issue somewhere. This is empty, so we need to go ahead and Let's see, we make that reload by force. Okay, there we go. So now we should be able, there we go. So now look at this. We now get the actual title of our category. And this is looking very, very nice. Now, all we need to do is just get this from here and then display it on the user interface. And the way we're going to do that is this. We're going to go back inside Visual Studio Code and right on the bottom because I want to display it after the piece of text. So I'm going to go below this and we know that it is an array. So I'm going to render it inside an unordered list. So I'm going to say UL and then we know that we need to go inside the story because story is the object, the main object that we get back when we are looping over every single story that we have, right? So I'm going to say stories or rather story, story dot map, oh, sorry, not that story dot categories categories dot map and then I want to get every single category and then you know what for the unique key I want to get the index of the category and then I'm going to go ahead and say render out my list item like so and then the text for the list item is going to say category dot title because category dot title is what we are getting right inside here and then for the unique key for the list item, I'm going to set it to the index of the category. And then now I'm going to go ahead and save that and our application should break. Yes, it does. There we go. So it does break. Now let me zoom out. And it says cannot read properties of null. Now this is because we are trying to execute this part, but there are some blog posts that do not have the categories. Some evaluate to null. So what we're going to do is we don't want this entire UL to be shown if there are no categories. So I'm going to cut this out and then I'm going to place my conditional and then I'm going to say that only when story dot categories does not equal to null evaluates to true. That's when I want my UL to show once again. So we are checking that stories dot categories is not equal to null, meaning it is filled in with something. Now, when this part executes to true, that's when we want our unordered list to show. And when I save that, then now we should go ahead and we should be able to see colors right here. See that right there? So colors and then, oops. And then we have our other two categories right there. And so now all you need to do is just tell this out. So I'm going to give this a class name of flex and item center and justify start and gap dash one. And then for the list item, I'm going to give it a class name 
of bg slate 700 and text white and text dash extra small and then padding on the y of one and padding on the x of two and rounded dash full and then save that and then that should be styled much better and then you can give the ul a margin on the top of four to push it away from the other text and there we go so now we're able to get the categories right there and then you can get the categories for this other one as well as for this one so that is looking much much better